Hello guys, this is Paul McCorder with TopTechBoy.com and I am here today with lesson number 67 in our marvelous, our epic, our legendary new series of Arduino tutorials. What I'm going to need you today is to do today is pour yourself a nice big mug of iced coffee. And I need you to get ready for a homework assignment because in lesson 66, I do not believe that I had handy a homework assignment. So what I'm going to do today is just give you the homework assignment and then we'll build it out in lesson number 68. But remember, it is your goal to be able to build this before you watch my solution video because there's things that you have to you have to think about. So without further ado, your assignment is to build a remote control LED, RGB LED. And so you're going to need your RGB LED. You're going to need your uh, remote control receiver module. You're going to need an Arduino. You know, in the eLEGO kit, there comes an Arduino Uno. But I've been building with the Arduino Nano. Links down below for all this hardware. And I just think the Nano allows a lot uh, a lot cleaner builds. And you're going to need your three current limiting resistors. Now, if you've been taking this series of lessons, you have everything that you need in order to, you know everything you need to know in order to do this assignment. So what is the assignment? Well, if you come in on the remote and you press the red button, the on button, I want the LED to come on full brightness white. Okay. If you press the uh, function stop button, I want you to just turn the LED off. Okay, now if you press one, two, or three, you turn the LED red, green, blue. So one is red, two is green, three is blue, four is cyan, <clears throat> five is magenta, six is yellow and zero will take you back to white. So white, red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow. So far, so good, right? All right. What I also want you to do is, is that if you press the down button, I want you to dim the LED. If you press the up button, I want you to brighten it. But remember, you can't brighten beyond full brightness, so you don't want to apply you don't want to write voltages or write values greater than 255. So this will dim. Every time you press it, it will make it dimmer until it goes smoothly all the way to off. And then if you come back here, it will smoothly bring it up brighter and brighter and brighter. Now, I need you to listen to me. If I go to red and then go dim, 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 dim to half brightness, and then I go to green, I want you to keep that same brightness. When you hit two for green, I don't want you to just go back to full brightness green. I want you to remember that mood that's been set, that if it's been set to a dimmer value, then when you go to green, I want it to be a dim green or uh, a dim blue or dim cyan magenta or yellow. So I want you to remember as you're switching between these keys what the overall brightness should be. Okay, anytime that you press this, you go to full white brightness. Anytime that you press this, you go to off. But if you press zero, that would go back to white, but it would be whatever the present value of dimness is. Does that make sense? So this will be kind of a cool little project. I can turn my light on. I can turn it off. I can turn it different colors, and I can set the brightness. All right, that's your homework assignment. And then in the next lesson, lesson 68, we will go through the build together and the coding. Paul McCorder from toptechboy.com. You guys leave a comment down below and let me know if you were able to get this done. Okay, if you like the video, think about giving us a thumbs up. Think about sharing this with other people. Subscribe to the channel. Paul McCorder from toptechboy.com. We will talk to you guys.